Welcome to Philip Carrion Salon Workshop Series. This transformational lavender micro pixie is an excellent study in root directional cutting. This is Brittany's before look. Take a vertical strip section at the crown where the growth pattern changes from back to front. Using your finger distance, crop the hair down. Once this section is cut, your guideline will distribute in all directions. Continue your vertical sections in the back following in the direction that the hair will naturally move in. Use mini point cuts with the tips of your shears to create movement and texture. The lower you move down into the nape line, the more your fingers should hug the neck. If the head is flat or irregular, distance your fingers slightly away in that specific area to round out the shape. Then tighten up at the nape and create a great fit. Follow these simple ideals. The head shape is key and corrections must be done in your initial haircut. Follow the growth pattern, eyeing it throughout. And notice when you get to the nape, the shears cut straight to create a smoother texture. Realign your body and hand position as the root direction changes. Notice how I use the tips of my shears throughout the interior. When I get to the lower nape, I use the straight cut. The interior needs the texture and grain to create interest. When you get to the bottom where the hair is sparse, you'll be able to see every chop from the point cutting. You want it to be smooth and velvety. Every time the growth pattern changes, so does the angle of your fingers. You really must follow it. See how the hair grows down, then changes and moves back? Your eye sees that the hair changes direction and your fingers change as well. Notice the fine pointing of the shears. You must be precise when the hair is this short. Two larger points will be step-like when the hair lays. When the growth pattern from two different directions collide, usually there's a weighted spot. Use your shear over comb technique, turning the shear tips in. Chip away at the heavy point. This will allow the hair to weightlessly fold in. Following the growth pattern, tighten up the hair directly over the ear. Comb from underneath lifting up. This will drop out a bit of hair, creating a soft sideburn. Slide your fingers out away from the temporal to leave length at the front and tighten in the back. Comb the hair down to check the length and the weight. Scoop up with your comb to create a further ragged edge. The partings in this cutting zone will pivot into pie shapes. High elevation is essential to continue layering. If I drop my elevation, a weighted line will show. By elevating high, the section lies velvety, something you just don't get from a clipper. To open up the eye and cheekbone area, take a diagonal parting along the temporal hairline 
and hold it directly against the face and cut. The hair will fly back tightly. Continue this method on the opposite side. Here, I'm chopping the top just to create a manageable working length. This micro point cutting will evoke a feminine texture. Take a center vertical strip parting from the crown to the forehead, raising your elevation at the front hairline to maintain length. Continue this method through the whole top section. Once you complete the top vertical strips, blend the top section to the sides and back. Pick up all along the ridge of the top section. Point cut in to form your shape as you move from shorter at the crown to longer in the front. Here I'm detailing to remove weight and length from the sideburns. Now that the cut is complete, use the shear over comb method of cutting on the bias to chip in micro texture to the crop pixie. Brittany is beside herself. She didn't know that she could have a short micro pixie and still look this feminine. Once you cut a micro pixie using these techniques, you'll understand growth pattern like you've never understood it before. It will change your hair cutting game.